and they said Cuphead was hard. This guy has just taken my finger pistol straight to the dome. Come on, you projectiles, what you can. You piece of sh. What's going on, bros? I've been a gamer since the days of Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. I mean, that was 2D black and white. I played Pokemon since the original 151, and even played Snake on my Nokia 3210. I spent my childhood making my way through the original Croc, Spyro, and Crash Bandicoot, and spent most of my years at school playing Halo and Minecraft on a LAN network with the Xbox 360. I even used a dial-up internet connection back then, where it would take you three hours to load a JPEG with some titties. Time well spent. It's 2019 now, and consoles have come a long ass way. The graphics are incredible and the connection, well, most of the time, is smoother than a baby's bottom. And I'm looking for a game like no other. I want to find a game that has everything. The strategy of Red Alert. The character development of Oblivion. The story of God of War. And the playability of Minecraft. That's all I'm asking for. So I'm hitting up every cheap game on all the consoles I own to find the one game I'll start playing and never want to put down. Which brings me back to Cuphead. So I've been playing Cuphead for a while now, and it's the type of game that you think, this is a child's game, this isn't too hard, but actually, the story behind it is quite interesting. The development behind it is even more interesting. It took them seven years to make this game. That's because every single second of gameplay takes 24 separate frames of art to make. Anyway, story goes, you and your brother Mugman go to the Devil's Casino. You're doing really well at the craps table, so you make a deal with the devil and you say, if we win, we get the casino. If we lose, however, you'll take our souls. Anyway, Cuphead and Mugman play the game. And guess what? They lose. Obviously. So Cuphead and Mugman get on their knees and they beg, please, Mr. Devil, please don't take our souls. What can we do? The devil whips out his contract and says, well, boys, I have a lot of runaway debtors. If you go and chase them for me, I'll reconsider taking your souls. And that's it. That's the game. Let's get into it. So, first level of the game, and I'm fighting a potato. I'm using my finger to shoot my pea shooter, and he is firing hunks of mud and snakes at me. Going well so far, still got 4 HP. I have noticed, however, there is no HP bar above his head, so I don't know how much health he has left. Although, okay, so that seems a dumb trick. And he's turned into an onion. Okay. So from what I've read of the game so far, there is several different stages to every boss battle. And the game is entirely boss battle. There's 19 bosses throughout this whole game. This is the second stage of the first boss, Onion. And it looks like the game is the third stage. What is it going to be now? Carrot. They only take damage if you fire exactly at their face, it appears. And he's firing his little micro carrots at me. Trying to penetrate me. Just like the old times. You can only shoot that particular spot on his face as well. That's going well. Still got 4 HP. These, these little carrots ain't giving me too much trouble. It's going right, you know. I've got to look out for his uh, third eye lasers. That's well, good. It's good. I'm enjoying it. There's not a huge amount to do in this, but it's actually fairly, fairly complex. I know it looks simple, but believe you me, this is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, okay, I say that. I've just achieved a perfect run. It's like I'm a pro gamer, man. What happens next? I get a grading. Skill. Time. 1 minute 27. HP bonus 3 out of 3. Obviously. Skill level 2. C plus? You serious? Some of these bosses are harder than others. I mean, there's two here, for instance. Two frogs, two toads. Firing out flaming bumblebees from their mouths and throwing punches. I've already died six times in this level. I do, however, like what's going on in the background. Oh, here he comes, with his little rolling attack. Let's get the leggy one. I'll call him Tawley and Shorty. I think that's the only way I can separate the two of them. So I've got Tawley giving me the gush attack. I've got Shorty giving me the uh, dodgeball attack. Yeah, this is standard. The thing with this game is, 
you have to play multiple times to figure out what their moves are. And after playing multiple times, you figure out when to jump, how to jump, what next is coming, how it's going to affect you, where, where you should move. Should you duck? Should you jump? Should you shoot? Should you parry? Should you attack? For this, for instance, it took me a freaking long time to figure out you had to parry that boxing glove. It then fires out these things, which, um, if anything's potluck, some of them shoot down, some of them shoot up. I still have 3 HP though, so that's going well. And again, no, no HP. I don't know how, how much is left of this guy. It feels like I've been shooting him forever. But in actual fact, it's only been maybe two minutes, maybe less. But look at it, look at it, look at it. He's made it, he's made it. Yep, fire coins. It's the next stage. Send your arm down, let me parry that. And then he rolls a. Fox head, blind Oh, this is the worst one. This is the worst one. This is Yes! That's how you do it, baby. Easy as that. Six deaths. Six deaths so far. It's going well. What grade did I get this? Time? Okay, one minute fifty-four. Skill level two, HP, didn't get that much of a bonus. Grade C. Oh my days. This is ridiculous. Some boss fights are alright. Some boss fights you can sort of get through first time. There's a couple of run and gun levels. They're pretty decent. But the actual boss fights, it takes such a technical level of skill. This guy, for instance. This guy had me dead I don't know how many times. But it's an aerial fight. I'm fighting in a plane. The whole up, down, left, right, shoot, parry, special move has all changed. And then you find yourself up against the Mexican flower. And I do not know how many deaths I suffered at his hands, but seriously, the guy takes a piss. So you fight, and again, and again, and retry, and retry, and retry. Eventually, after an unlimited amount of deaths, you claim a sweet, sweet victory. And you go mad, and you celebrate, and you tell your parents, you tell your family, you tell your friends, you tell everyone. That you beat the flower. And then you realise. This is only the first island. Fantastic. So here we go. Second island. Um, seems to be a cupcake house. A pyramid house. Three sad clowns. A roller coaster boss and oh, a pool of water. What was in here? Color mode. Through all your battles and all my rhymes, you have failed and perished 180 times. Oh, well, that's just a sad fact, isn't it? I'm quitting. Look, Cuphead is a great game. I have enjoyed playing it. At least the first island I have enjoyed. It's been fun, it's been silly, there's lots of colour, there's lots of good songs, it's frustrating as hell, but it's a good game. There's no overall sort of character development, but I liked it. I'll give it a 8 out of 10? Yeah, that seems about right. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Devil will take their hand.